Hey, and welcome to the DIY Game of Thrones build. I'm John, and we're going to turn this into one of these swords. That's right, we're going to take one of these pickets, and I bought like 25 of these for $25 at Home Depot, and we're going to turn it into a sword. So let's get started. First, there's a few things that you'll need. You'll need a cutting tool of some type. I'm going to use a jigsaw, a pencil, a measuring tape, not necessary, and of course, your picket wood. So, now that you got that, let's begin. First thing I want to do is measure out the hilt. I got about 9 inches on this hilt, and I'm going to give myself a little extra, so we'll go about 10 inches. I'll mark that up on the board over here. And that'll be my hilt, because I'm going to use some of this uh, scrap. I also need to measure out roughly how much I want the handle to be, so I'm going to use my hand as a measurement and just kind of eyeball it. So now I'll take some quick measurements, and I've got my handle, and the rest will be my guard. It's much easier to cut the hilt while it's still attached than it is to do it as a small piece later on. Now I'll just measure out about halfway through the hilt and make sure I've got the halfway marks pretty much all the way along because I'm going to use these as reference points. There's no need to get too precise with this, it's just a prop after all and you'll probably make quite a few of them. Now that I got everything measured out, I'm going to freehand the hilt. It's just a kind of triangle or diamond shape, so I'm just going to freehand it. If you want, you can make this more exact by taking a straight edge or something like that and draw your lines. Uh, don't have a straight edge, just use whatever you find. I'm using my old sword here. Now that I have the basic design all drawn up, the next thing to do is, well, cut it out. So while I'm here, I might as well draw the, the end of the handle, the pummel there. So I'm just going to go and just freehand a, a basic design of what I think it looks like. Again, I'm not being too precise or too concerned about it. And of course, uh, it's a little tapered off too. And of course, the handle's got kind of a tapered edge to it. So I'm just going to kind of roughly taper it. As you notice, I'm not using a measuring tape or anything like that. This is a quick and dirty. And before we begin, make sure you're wearing your safety glasses. Safety first. Okay, so here I've got my rough shape. I'm going to take the jigsaw and I'm going to start cutting out the shape. I'll just cut in a little bit, give myself some room. And around that out. This will be kind of where the end of my handle is, but let's start doing that shape. You can see here the handle's kind of still rough and it's kind of square and blocky. I'm going to sand that down. Now I don't have a lathe or an electric sander or anything like that, so I'm going to use what I've used when I was a kid, sharpening popsicle sticks. That's right, I'm going to use the Curb. Curb makes an excellent lathe slash sanding paper block, and I'm just going to go back and forth and I'm going to sand this thing smooth and round very quickly. It didn't take me no time at all, won't take you any time at all. Now. I usually use bigger and wider strokes, uh, but because my camera and tripod was there, I had to kind of watch my movement. And it's great at rounding out that little knobby on the end of my handle, too. Now that I think I've got it relatively smooth, now we can begin the next process, and that is to paint it up. You'll notice I also did the hilt and I sanded it down on uh, using just the sidewalk. Seems to work just great. I also measured my halfway mark and cut it in half. So after doing the rough placement, I realized that uh, I'm a little impatient, so instead of just waiting for the glue to dry, I used hot glue to kind of hold everything together so it could dry quicker. A quick shot of brown paint and hey, I'm kind of liking the way it looks so far. Just needs a little bit more few embellishments. And now I've put on the gold paint. And it's really starting to shine and take effect. It kind of looks aged. I like it. At a distance, it looks fantastic. 
I just used this acrylic spun gold paint and it seems to do the trick. Here's the finished product now, all done in silver and gold and the brown and I'm kind of liking the way it looks. So if you need to crank out a bunch of swords in no time or just need some for your props or Halloween decorations, your costume or for your kids to beat on each other with. Either way, this is nice, quick and dirty. And again, if you take your time, it'll even come out nicer. In the meantime, I'll leave you to it.